Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Powers and I'm with Aero Electronics, and we're going to be continuing our series on Bluetooth Low Energy. Today we're going to be talking about connection management. So let's see how a reliable connection is managed in Bluetooth Low Energy. Remember that communication between a master and a slave occurs in a connection event that uses a data channel frequency. Then based on the frequency mapping and the hopping algorithm, it moves to the next frequency at the next connection interval. This helps to reduce interference. When we explained advertising, we saw a packet structure contains a preamble, a data access address, a one byte header, a one byte for the length of the payload, the data, and finally a CRC. Data packets are similar, but the header is different. For a data packet, the header is split into four fields. You have the logic link identifier, or LLID, the sequence number, or SN, the next expected sequence number, or NESN, and then finally, the MD, or more data, section. The LLID is used to determine if the packet contains one of the following types of data. If the LLID is hyphen 11, this is used for managing the connection. Request to update the connection parameters, changing the adaptive frequency hopping channel map, encrypting the link, terminating the link, and so on. If the LLID is hyphen 10, this is the start of a higher layer packet or for a complete packet. If it's hyphen 01, this is a continuation of a higher layer packet or an empty packet. Except in the first case, all the packets are to or from the host. During a connection event, the slave sends data, then the master, then the slave, then the master, and so on. In our example, we can see the slave sends data with an LLID equal to 2 or a binary 1, 0, and this starts a higher layer packet. The master answers with an LLID equal to 1 and sends an empty packet. The NESN, or next expected sequence number, performs the acknowledgement. This informs the receiving device of the next sequence number the transmitter expects. We can then check when the slave has an NESN equal to 1, the SN sent by the master is 1, and at the next communication event, the NESN is 0, and the master answers with an SN equal to 0. The sequence number changes at each data point and hence works in conjunction with the NESN for reliable communication. In our case, if there were no acknowledgement, the slave would send the same NESN and SN number, and the master would know the slave did not receive the previous acknowledgement, and thus the data needs to be resent. Finally, as the host is able to send packets larger than the maximum 27 bytes of data that can be included in a single link layer data packet, the L2 cap segmented the information, and the MD bit is sent to inform the peer device to continue to communicate in the connection event. Then the sequence number enables the reliable transfer of data. The sequence number for each new data packet sent is different from the last data packet sequence number, with the first packet in a connection having a sequence number of zero. This allows a receiving device to determine if the next packet that it is receiving is a retransmission of the previous packet because the sequence number is the same, or a new transmission of a new packet because the sequence number is different. As it is only one bit, it alternates between one and zero for each new data packet that is sent by a device. When a connection was set up, timing parameters like connection interval, slave latency, or channel map were defined. If these parameters must be changed during a connection, the link layer of the master and the slave can communicate to update these values or simply send a termination indication. Finally, please notice the access address in the data packet. Unlike an advertising packet that has a fixed access address, the data packet has an address that was determined during the request for connection. This access address is random and should be unique. Around 2 billion addresses are available, so the probability of collision is very low.